Tonight is President Joe Biden's first night in the White House and tomorrow morning his first full day in office. He's already signed a series of executive orders today, wasting no time getting to work. For more on what's next for the new administration and today's inauguration, we bring in Fox 5 political analyst Carl Luna. Carl, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, you've had a chance to now let today's inauguration sink in. What do you think history will record as the standout moments today? Well, definitely, Kathleen, this has been a change in tone, at least, coming out of the, 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 the White House and the, and the government. Uh, it's a sense of optimism between COVID, the events of two weeks ago at the Capitol, the, the political division. We need some optimism. I think what the history will mark is the appeal for unity by President Biden. And, of course, they will also remark the incredible speech given by America's youngest poet laureate. What a poem that was. Oh, it certainly was. It brought chills, I think, to people across the country. Already, President Biden, as I had mentioned, signed a stack of executive orders in the Oval Office. What do you think they signal to you? Uh, you're basically doing to Donald Trump, the Biden administration, what President Trump tried to do to Barack Obama, use executive orders to reverse the legacy. Uh, I think Joe Biden will have more success with that because much of what President Obama did still continued in the Trump years. Uh, President Trump is likely to have uh, somewhat limited footprints uh, in history for what he did in his time in office. So you're reversing the travel ban, rejoining the World Health Organization, rejoining the Paris Climate, the Paris Climate Accords, and moving forward. Uh, this is not just Democratic agenda, but 60 percent of Americans tend to support much of this. Well, you mentioned former President Trump now. The Biden era begins in earnest tomorrow. Does that mean that Trumpism ends? And, and what does this new era actually mean for the Republican Party? I think the era of Donald Trump is probably coming to an end as a big uh, political player. The events of January 6th really damaged the legacy and really damaged his political power, losing his uh, foothold on Twitter and all. He has a hard time reaching out. Trumpism, though, populism, a bit of nativism, uh, anger at government and elites, that's going to continue. And you're going to then have a battle in the Republican Party uh, between those who want to be the next Trump and those who want to move the party more back toward the center, uh, something that can do business with the Democrats. And that could split the party in the next couple of years. Well, and unity was the theme today, whether you're talking about the Republican Party staying together, uh, President Joe Biden trying to bring everybody together in his address. He also confronted one of the crises that we don't talk about probably enough, and that's the disinformation out there that the country is facing. So uh, he called on all the leaders to, quote, defend the truth, to defeat the lies. That really is intertwined with his call for unity. So how steep a hill is it to try and get America on the same page? Yeah, it's actually trying to crawl out of a ditch, a deep hole we've dug out of misinformation and disinformation. Uh, you can't have unity till people can at least agree on some basic facts and have goodwill to believe that the other side is somebody you can do business with. Uh, Republicans and Democrats have to come together on that. Uh, this uh, misinformation, the role of the media has to be examined in it, but also politicians who advance things which are provenly false and lead to chaos have to be held accountable. Uh, that's what the next election will be for. But the way, Don, the, the way Joe Biden gets there is to govern well. Uh, the first thing he has to do is deal with the COVID crisis. Then he can deal with all the other things that have stacked up over the last couple of years. And there is a lot for him to juggle, the COVID crisis, the economic crisis that is going hand in hand with it. So he inherited a lot at noon today. And Carl, I know you'll stick with us and, and help us walk through it as these years progress. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you.